Good morning, everybody. This is Nicole Fields of Grace. What a beautiful spring morning. It has been so warm the last couple of days. We've been in the upper 70s, got to 80 yesterday. We've got another day of 70. So I'm gonna go out and put some tags in my garden. Let's take a look and see what we got going in here. So I did some, what I do in here? Did I do some petunias? trying to remember i guess i'll see when they pop up i planted a bunch of flower seeds and some pots and things the other day over the weekend with my daughter i did not mark what flower seeds i planted where i'll try to link to a video where i show you what seeds i had on hand and then we have a little peach pod going in there maybe and we got some flowers growing in that one and we had to start our cucumber seeds over and some of our zucchini seeds because of this little girl. Get out of there. She discovered my pots that I had indoors. We had all like five cucumbers growing. <laughs> um, and then I had, I think four zucchini plants growing. I'm down to one zucchini. So we replanted new seeds and these are sitting outside the last couple days to soak in the sun. Um, we have, we transplanted our little yellow onions. You can see the little here. We transplanted little onions into our potato onion bags. This is the first time I'm using these bags and I have potatoes growing in here. Nothing grown yet. I put them in there so they're in there, but and then I still have a couple of pots. I got to replant here, but let's go take a look out there at the garden boxes. All right. So I have to tell you, you guys, if you see, saw my quick little fun video on planting dahlia tubers that I did all along the back here. Um, that was kind of meant to be a more entertaining little video. Um, I've been gardening for many years and so I don't normally just pluck up plops of grass and dirt and then plant things. Um, normally I would like make a nice little bed back here um, but I had bought those at Costco and I already had dahlia seeds that I'm planting elsewhere. And so when I picked up the dahlia tubers at Costco, I was like, where am I going to put these? And so this was my like fun little, I'm just going to plant them and see what happens. Um, I live in the Midwest, you guys, and you can pretty much just put anything in the ground and then it will grow here. Um, so I realized that that video looked kind of funny because I literally just dug holes in the ground and plopped my dahlia tubers in back here so you can kind of see one poking up just a little bit um so that is kind of more of a just let's just do this for fun thing even if you are a really serious gardener i truly believe in having a let's just do this for fun kind of patch in your garden and not being so analytical about you know your dirt and your soil and your um compost and fertilizers and all that kind of stuff you know you just need to relax and have some fun sometimes with your garden so it is early april and normally here in zone five you don't really plant much in your garden beds until after mother's day well we are predicted to have a warmer than normal april and may um and last year we had a really late frost and zapped our cherry trees um, and it's really rare for us to have two of those really late frosts two years in a row. And since we're predicted to have warmer weather this spring, I decided to go ahead and try an early planting season. Um, so I still have my vegetable seeds growing inside in trays that I can transplant out here. And I have backup seeds. So if these don't grow or they start growing and they get zapped by a cold burst, it is what it is. But I wanted to try an early garden plant this year. So I have a little bit of eggplant going back here and I have a little bit of celery growing up here that we just planted. This is my garlic, you guys. It's really growing, it's taken off. You can see it's definitely getting bigger and taller and that makes me excited because I'm ready to pull it already and um, plant my regular stuff in there. I didn't think this through last year when I overwintered it. Um, I honestly had no idea if it was even gonna grow and it is, and this is taking up a third of one of my garden boxes. So um, I definitely need this to keep growing and flourishing so I can harvest it before, um, or like around Mother's Day maybe hopefully so that I can replant in here. Whiskey, what you doing? This little puppy is scared of everything, you guys. She's scared of the wind, she's scared of cars, any loud noise outside, saws, lawnmowers, you name it. She freaks out. <laughs> so puppy training with her has been going backwards the last couple days. Come on. Um, let's see. 
let us come over here so this is my other garden box um, I planted two rows of green onions kind of hard to see in the sunlight here and then in the front I have two rows of radishes and green onions and radishes do really well for us here um, and then I have two rows of lettuce I did two different kinds of lettuce up in the front here um, and as you can see this is the corner of a garden box last year that I tried to do lettuce in the fall. Some of it grew and some of it didn't. And I now have, I could tell by the coloring, it's hard to see in the sunlight here, morning sunlight. These leaves are kind of purpley, um, which is a heat wave blend lettuce. <laughs> um, and then I have two other little lettuces. I think they're lettuces. I'm pretty sure they're lettuces that are growing. Um, so I replanted more lettuce here to kind of make it look more natural. Um, and then I have some snap peas growing along my trellis here in the back. Snap peas also did really good for us last year. So we have an early start on our garden. We'll see how it goes. And there is Triggy out there near the creek having some fun. Again, this is Nicole Fields of Grace, you guys, and I hope you have a good day.